Welcome to MoxLab ABO Variety video tutorial. In today's video, uh, I'll present to you the different devices uh, that we chose for this uh, video. So, as video sources, uh, today we'll be using a MoxLab DigiSign uh, player. This is an Android play, uh, based player. And we'll be using as well the MoxLab signal generator and as for displays we'll have our three, three screen uh, display and a regular TV and also in the same in our setup we'll be having of course a laptop from which we'll be sending different commands to our max lab network uh, controller that will do the management of all MaxLab transmitters and receivers in this setup. And since we are in uh, an AV over IP environment, of course, we'll be using a network switch. And today we'll be using a Cisco switch pre-configured by uh, MaxLab. For our first install, I'll suggest to you going to uh, our MaxLab website. So that would be maxlab.com. And then once on our website, you can search for the 500812, which is the MaxLab network controller. On this page, you'll go all the way down and click on the uh, Pro Digital Network Controller page. And then here you have different links for the quick uh, setup guide of the most popular network switches, such as Cisco, Luxol, Netgear. Huawei, and then on this page we'll go on this tab, te technical documents, and then from here we'll go to the user manual. And then here on the user manual, you have all, all the details on how to configure uh, or to do an install of the AV over IP uh, product. Right. So now. First thing first, what we are going to do is um, to go check the co configuration of the Cisco switch. So all MaxLab pre-configured uh, network switches or MaxLab devices uh, all have, work on the same uh, IP range, which is 192.168. Dot one sixty eight. Then for the switch here, I chose one. So I will access to the uh, Cisco uh, web interface. I put my logins, the default uh, password, username and password at Cisco Cisco. There you go. And then from here, we have some uh, requirements for the uh, AV over IP product to work properly. So we, for that, we'll go here under multicast and make sure that the bridge multicast filtering is enabled. And then here, another very important point, the IGMP snooping must be enabled as well as the uh, IGMP uh, query status. Then from here, okay, we'll go to edit. And then on this page, the VLAN ID, by the default one would be one. And again, the IGMP snooping status must be enabled. And uh, another very important uh, requirement is Im immediate leave. That must be enabled as well. And then uh, for the Cisco switch currently, the IGMP query version would be V2. So these really are the uh, steps to follow. And then another requirement would be here. The Jumbo frame must be enabled as well. So this is the, the information uh, that uh, for the network switches. 
and then from now we'll go to our MaxLab network controller web interface and the IP address that I chose for it is 192.168.168.51 Here on our Cisco network switch, as you can see, we have uh, a bunch of Ethernet cable connected to it. So these Ethernet cable, they come from the network controller, the receivers, as well as the transmitters. So there's no really an order on how to connect uh, these Ethernet cable. You just go and connect on any uh, available uh, Ethernet port. And another thing that I can add on the back panel of the MaxLab network controller, for the control of 
all the MOX lab uh, transmitter, transmitter and receivers, you must connect the LAN 1 port to the network switch. The LAN 2 port will be used for any third party control uh, device, such as RTI, uh, control 4, and so on. And as you can see here, we have our source, which is uh, the DigiSign Android uh, Moxal player, as well as the signal generator. And then we'll be using HDMI cables to connect those video sources to our transmitters, which will be sending the video uh, over the network uh, to the receivers, which again, using the HDMI cable, will be sending the video to the displays. So as you can see, the network, network controller has detected all transmitters and receivers in our setup which is the two transmitters and two receivers. So now, as you can see here, we have different tabs um, on our web interface. Uh, we can choose now the matrix tab, the virtual matrix, and assign uh, you know, the sources to the displays. So here, since I have two transmitters, I can choose the DigiSign player. And then on the other one, I can choose the signal generator. And then I can just hit connect. And as you can see it on the camera, we are getting now the picture from uh, the two uh, video sources that we have. 